Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Dylan D, and this is the Omnitops. What makes this build unique besides its appearance is its crazy fast speed. The entire machine literally only runs on one Caterpillar engine, making it able to run the same speed as a regular one-engine missile. And of course, like all my other machines, there will be weaponized tutorials for this bot as well. Alright, let's jump straight into it. So, for this build, you will need just over two stacks of slime blocks, seven sticky piston, uh, 41 regular piston, just over a stack of any block of your choice, just as long as it's movable, 46 redstone blocks, uh, 42 stairs, it can be any color that you wish, this will be for the bone frill and spines, uh, 27 glass of your choice, this can also be substituted uh, for any block of your choice, it doesn't have to be glass, I just like to be able to see to see around. Uh, one obsidian and one boat. So once you have all of that, let's go ahead and straighten up this inventory. Alright, looking much better now. So, what you want to do next is find where you'd like to put it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to face it towards this village. So what you want to do is come down this direction and find just any old good spot and place a pattern on the ground that looks like this. Now once you've done that, uh, go three blocks over and then on the fourth block place uh, another block of your choice and then come back like so and then come back off the bottom of each one like one, two, three, four, five, six and on the seventh block place another block of your choice. Now once you've done this, go ahead and make this kind of shape on the ground with your uh, block of choice then come back this direction and make the same design right here so it looks like this so it looks even all right let's do a pretty uh, big piece of this at once so knowing which way you're facing that is the way the machine will move uh, I guess well that's kind of irrelevant at the moment that's fine go ahead and cover all these uh, regular blocks up with slime blocks, like so. Now, once you have that, come off two blocks like this on each one of the leg pieces here, like that, and go ahead and place a redstone block here, and then there, and then there, and then here. Now, those redstone blocks are on the back of the legs, just to clarify direction. Go ahead and place a regular block there and there, and then go ahead and grab your sticky pistons, come up like so, place it like that on each leg. <coughs> you have this, go back here, alright. So once you have this, go ahead and grab your redstone blocks, place one there, 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 and there. Those will act basically like knee kneecaps. Um, then once you do that, we will be averting our attention straight to the front for a moment, and we will be coming in with one slime block on the inside on each one, then two regular blocks, and then one slime block, and then one slime block down underneath that one that you just placed. Go ahead and place a redstone block on the back of each one of those. Then swing on in here like so. Place a piston here. And then come over to this side and place a piston here. So it looks like that. <coughs> and this is your, you know, standard leg moving forward uh, motion device, <laughs> I guess. And then what you want to do now is go ahead and place a piston out like this. And then go ahead and come in like so. So it looks like that. Now, once you have that, we'll go to the back legs here. Same basic principle, except it's going to be on the outside. Slime block, two regular blocks, slime block, but then the slime block, is, uh, the second one is going to be to the side instead of on the bottom. Now again, slime block, two regular blocks, slime block, and then slime block to the side. Now, once you have this, go ahead and put a slime block like this, this, and like that. So it's that little three pattern straight up. So one, two, three. So it looks like this. Now, once you have this little uh, kind of pattern, I guess, go ahead and throw a redstone block there and there. Come off the back of that with a piston on each side, <coughs> like so, and then like so. So you're looking at something that looks like this. Now, once you have that, go ahead and attach those pistons to each other. Three slime blocks like this. Then once you have that, go ahead and place a sticky piston 
on the build like this, and it should look like that so far. Redstone block here, place a piston here, so it looks like that. Then what you want to do is place a slime, come underneath how I just did, place a slime block here, go ahead and place a piston there, and then come back out this way, all the way around this direction, sticky piston here so it extends like so, one slime block, and then what you want to do is grab your pistons, place it in so it's facing this slime block like so, redstone block on the top, uh, sticky piston like this, and then we're going to do a one, three, three, so one, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, so it looks like this, then grab your stairs, place one here, grab your pistons, come off of this like so, grab a redstone block, place it there. Now you can grab your one piece of obsidian and either put it here or you can put it here, doesn't matter. I'm going to put it there for the moment. Redstone block there, and then you can actually break that out and if you're in survival and re-grab it. <coughs> now, once you've done all this, we can actually move back this way into the build, and we're going to do the stomach. So coming down this way from that piston that we left alone, you can go ahead and grab a slime block. Now you can do this from either side. Uh, I'm going to do this side, put the slime block here, and the redstone block like that. Now, from whatever, whatever, whatever side that you used, or whatever side you put it on, on the opposite side, place three regu regular blocks like one, two, three, like so, two like that, and then two more like that. Now, place a piston coming off that little middle block like so, and you're good to go. Now what you want to do is come forward with your slime blocks like this, and just go ahead and put three all together like that. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to have all my redstone blocks on this left side, you know, just to make it kind of, I guess, a little bit even. Then on the opposite side, place your other uh, block of choice, and then you have three blocks of choice like this, and then one in the middle like that. Piston like so. Then what you want to do is come off that piston with another slime block like this, come down underneath with another slime block and to the sides of the slime block you just placed. Now coming back around this way, redstone block right down there so it's underneath this piston and it'll pass underneath it and uh, that's how it'll move. <coughs> coming out you want a slime block here, grab your pistons again and place it coming off like this. Then you want that slime block to be here. All right? You want it to be level with these pieces here. If it's not, then go ahead and check your build again. Then coming off of that, redstone block on the top, slime block there, you're good to go. Now for the last little part of this whole step, you're going to come to the engine piston. But what you're going to want to do first is place your obsidian in the machine. Make sure you place that obsidian or it can move forward, it can mess it all up. <coughs> and we really, really don't want that. So go ahead, place a piston right on the front of that sticky piston there. Once you've done this, come off of it with your slime blocks like so, and same deal as the bottom here, you can choose either side with this, but I'm going to choose the left side. Redstone block there, and then coming off the front, you want one, two, three regular blocks, then a piston coming off the front of those three regular blocks, so it looks like this so far. Then coming off of this piston, you want it to look like this, with that slime block hovering over this one, with one space in between. Then you want to come in slime block, slime block, slime block, slime block. So you have this kind of kind of arc shape to it. And then once you do that, go ahead and just throw a regular block on there. And of course, you can throw a redstone block here, here, or there. Does not matter. I mean, you could do it here, but if you want multiple boats in the design, then I just go ahead and choose the left side again. All right, moving forward, what we're going to do first before the next big step is place a slime block here and here, coming off this sticky piston like so. <coughs> now, what you want to do after you've done this is place a piston there and there, and then you can go ahead and place some stairs right there. Now, uh, how this is about to go is to save time, you can go ahead and mirror everything I do on this side, so I'll do one side, and you can mirror the other side, and that'll make the tutorial a little shorter, and <coughs> everyone a little bit happier, I guess, probably. Who knows? But what we'll do is start that up by coming off the side of uh, these uh, little pieces here and adding the piston that I just added. Now once you do that, you can go ahead and come out with your slime blocks off these pistons, and I will begin the uh, just one side. So 
coming off like I said there what we're gonna do is make this little four pad thing and we're gonna do that on both sides you know just to show you what I mean by <coughs> mirroring it and then go ahead and grab a piston place it here and a piston place it there and then on the bottom go ahead and place those two blocks here and redstone block there and go ahead and mirror that as well now once you have this uh, we'll worry about this one later that'll be like the top of the build overall. What we're going to want to do is come out from this piston with one slime block, come down one slime block, place a redstone block there, and once you have that, go ahead and grab a regular blocks, place one there, there, and there. Now once you have that, place a piston right here so it's facing out like so. Now once you have this, you can go ahead and grab your slime blocks again, come out like this, Slime block to the inside, redstone block like so, so you have this so far. Then once you have that, grab your glass and place one, two, three, one, two, and then coming off the bottom of that same one, that same slime block that you came off with the two, place one, two, three. So you're looking at something that looks like this. Go ahead and then place a piston on the top one. Make sure it's facing forward, of course. Then coming off of this piston here, you want to come out like this and then place the slime block again on the inside with your redstone block like so. So what will happen is this redstone block will sneak into this direction and update this piston. Then once you have this kind of look here, what you want to do is come out one, two, three with your, with your regular blocks. Then of course one, two, three with your glass and place a piston right here. Now once you have this overall look, go ahead and give you a little look over real fast. <coughs> Once you have this look, go ahead and come off of this bottom piston like so, and then place it like, uh, like this. Redstone block on the outside, looks like this. And then what you want to do is have two blocks coming in like one, two, slime block, regular block, piston. So you have like this kind of thing. Of course, and do this on the opposite side as well, like everything up to this point. And then grab uh, slime blocks, come out from this piston like so. And go ahead and drop it down one. Place a redstone block there. Regular block, slime block, slime block to the outside. Then a regular piston here. And then you can go ahead and just throw in two stairs like this. And that should do it for this part. All right, really quick before I forget, go ahead and grab your pistons, come down here to where this leg is, and then come up and there should be a sticky uh, a slime block right here next to that uh, the regular block, your block of choice that you used, it should be right here. So it's diagonal from this block and you should do that on both sides. And once you have that, it should look like this. And then that whole area should be good to go with the legs and everything. Now, moving on, once you've mirrored it, it should look something like this. And once you have everything good and ready to go, we're going to go all the way back here to this little area. We're going to utilize these pistons here. We're going to go ahead and come off with our slime blocks like this, grab our redstone blocks, come in like so, slime block, slime block, regular block, regular block, slime block again and again. Piston, piston. So you have this kind of pattern. It looks like that. Then you want to go ahead and grab your regular blocks and starting from this slime block, one up from the redstone block, throw in blocks that look like this. Then go ahead and grab your stairs, place one there, 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 and there. Now once you have this pattern, that's all done. Go ahead and grab your slime blocks again and come out from this piece here. And then go ahead and place one more slime block on the front of each one of those redstone block here and there, stairs, stairs, and go ahead and grab regular blocks, two coming out there, two there, and then fill up the middle, one, two, three, four. So it look, should look like that. Grab a piston, place it here, and then place it there. Now, once you have this, you should be looking at uh, you know, something that looks a lot like this. <laughs> now, moving forward, uh, I'm just gonna do half the head, and you can go ahead and mirror it on the other side, and I'll go ahead and do the center blocks, of course, too, so you don't have to worry about those. So starting from starting from the bottom one, we'll do this piston first. Come out from it like so, and then once you do that, come down one, place a redstone block 
here, and then once you've done that, go one, two, one, two with your regular blocks. So it's four total, like of this pad. And then on the bottom, place another one, and then a slime block here. And go ahead, come around this way, and place your uh, horn. Now you will, of course, double that right here, placing a glass block right there. Now, of course, you'll double that coming off that piston. Next up is this top piston. Let's go ahead and grab our slime blocks. Uh, come off like so. Now, once you have this, you want to come out one to the side, and up two, and then another one to the side, similar to the horns of the trihorn. Of course, you will be mimicking everything I do on this one uh, right there. So what you want to do is come back around here, place a redstone block here, grab your stairs, and this gets kind of crazy, so which you can face them however you wish, but I think this looks the coolest. Uh, you can face them like that, and then place one like so, and then one like so, and then another one coming off the side like that. Then what you want to do is grab your pistons, not right there, place it right there, right on the bottom. Once you have that, you're good to go. You can copy that onto this piston. Now what you want to do is come out from this piston like so, and once you have this, come up two blocks off of that slime block, and then down one. Grab redstone block, place a redstone block right there on the bottom slime block. Grab your staircases and place them going down this way, like one, two, three, and then four. And once you do that, come to the inside, and on the middle two blocks, place staircases again, like so. And once you have that, one more staircase right here, and that is that whole piece. So that is the whole bone frill. Uh, that's what it's called, the bone frill. Uh, uh, actually, reptiles have frills at, to this day. They just uh, don't have bone frills like the uh, triceratops and everything. But what you want to do now is find this piston, come off of it like so, then place a slime block here, and then another one coming down like so. Redstone block here on that middle slime block, and then grab your glass, place one right there on top, and then one right here, that's your middle block, so you don't have to worry about this one at all anymore. And go ahead and grab your stairs, one here, and then one right there. And if you go ahead and mirror everything we just did, you will be done with your uh, Omnitops. All right, I have a quick fix for you, then we're going to place the boat, and after we place the boat, I will demonstrate the star stop maneuvers. Now what you want to do first is place your obsidian there and break out this one back here, or a furnace works fine as well. Just be cautious, uh, when you, this will be the way you start and stop it every time from this point on. Uh, what you're going to want to do now though is fix this uh, tail piece. Now, uh, it's going to make the tail look a little funky, but that's okay, because after the initial startup of this machine, what was happening is this top piece was st uh, stopping one block out from the bottom. and you know, that's, I'm sure that's going to make people mad building this in survival and whatnot. So what we're going to do is just place a slime block here, uh, regular piston there and there, and then you can go ahead and replace your staircases on top like so. And yeah, the, the boat's not there yet, right? Okay, so <laughs> place your staircases on top like so. Now what's going to happen is the tail is going to move forward one block. It's going to catch up, so no worries about this two block space here. No worries. It's all good. This tail will catch up, it will look a little better. The tail might look a little detached, you know, but it's all off preference. I honestly like it better this way because then when it stops, the machine still looks exactly the same. So in order to do that, I mean, it'll work fine just from here. So what we'll do is we'll come in and place the boat like so. And we, I mean, you can face it either way too. I actually haven't tried it the other way, but you could. I'm just sure these slime blocks eventually will catch up or do something. So I just place it like this for now. Uh, you can place it anywhere. I can, Go ahead and jump in. Now, once you are here, you're probably looking at something that looks a little something like this. Now, what you want to do is just blow out this obsidian to start it up, and uh, I will demonstrate how to stop it again. So, let's get it going. Now, how to stop it is what you're going to want to do is place an obsidian right there. And, as you can tell, it will catch up, and boom, the tail is reset how, it was, how it's supposed to look. It looks great and the entire top of the machine stopped how it was supposed to. Also, the last note here is in the tutorial, I placed these like so, and I know it's just personal personal preference for everyone, but something that I think honestly looks really cool is it looking like that, this direction. But hey, that's up to you. You could honestly have anything for these stairs. You can have glowstone, but you know, light updates would be ridiculous. But hey, that's on you. You do whatever you'd like. That's the fun of it, and that is the build. 
But that's going to do it for this tutorial, you guys. I really hope you all enjoyed it. And one announcement I have is, if you have an idea for a slime block robot you'd like to see come to life, but you're just not sure how to go about it, then I encourage you to comment with your idea. And who knows, it might just be the next robot I build, and of course, do a tutorial for. But until the next video, you guys, later late.